My practice is predominantly patients who have spinal pain, back pain from nerve injuries and this kind of thing, people who have surgery, people who need surgery. I also spend quite a bit of time working with the hospital as the opioid advisor, and so I'm in charge of monitoring prescribing practices and trying to design mechanisms to improve safety for patients here and also to provide structure for the clinicians, the doctors, the nurse practitioners, the physicians' assistants in terms of how to safely prescribe opioid pain medications. We have a number of efforts in place that are all happening simultaneously in order to minimize the exposure of our patients to opioids. We do that by trying to standardize prescribing practices. We have developed with the Opioid Task Force what are called service-specific guidelines. So when somebody comes to the hospital and has an operation, the same operation gets about the same amount of medication, and we try to minimize the variability from doctor to doctor, from uh, prescriber to prescriber. One of the unique features of our program here at Hospital for Special Surgery is that we've developed a pre-operative pain evaluation program. And by evaluating those patients beforehand, finding out a little bit more about their history, sometimes uh, just even speaking with them and setting expectations makes a huge difference, and our length of stay for those patients is dramatically reduced. During the first year and a half of the implementation of these protocols that we developed through the Opioid Task Force, we've seen a decrease in opioid prescribing of about 500,000 pills at HSS. And we haven't seen any worsening of pain scales in the hospital or after surgery. We haven't seen any decrease in patient satisfaction scores. One of the goals of the Opioid Task Force is to change the culture of prescribing opioids here at Hospital for Special Surgery. And in fact, I think it's actually not only the right thing to do medically, and it's the right thing to do ethically, it's also the most cost-effective thing to do. It, it helps people to recover more quickly. It reduces uh, exposure of society. It's right on every account. It's better for public health. It's better for our patient outcomes. It's better for the hospital.